It was the early 50s and Frankfurt, the old trading and financial center of Germany, was slowly beginning to recover from the destruction wrought by World War II. A new generation of young Germans was building in existence in the aftermath of the war. In 1948, after being trained in banking in Switzerland during the war, Willy Kramer became the youngest founding member of the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. In 1965, Willy was appointed as one of the six market makers on the exchange and over time became an institution in Frankfurt and beyond. In 1951, he met Ingeborg Keim, a beautiful blonde rower, at the Marchsee Regatta in Hanover. After dating for three years, they married in 1953 in her hometown of Speyer. Shortly after, the couple moved to Frankfurt. In April of 1957, Willie and a very pregnant Ingeborg headed to the hospital in style with their fully equipped sporty VW Beetle. On April 27, 1957, their first child, Thomas, was born. Thomas was fortunate to be born into a family with two strong role models as parents. His mother took good care of him, including a stylish 50s pampering. T.K.'s great dad loved to spoil his young offspring. Even with Willie's busy work schedule, he always made time for his family, a quality he instilled in Thomas and his siblings. Thanks to an increase in Willie's good fortune, the Kramer family was able to upgrade their transportation to an Opal Record. Here you see them on their way to T.K.'s christening, a black tie affair for the extended family. Willie cultivated little Kramer's taste for gourmet dining through extensive feeding sessions. TK's first steps turned into a family event that ended in his grandfather's arms. In May of 1959, Olaf, his favorite and only brother, was born. Here little TK takes a joy ride in his old stroller, a stroller that survived the wear and tear of all three Kramer kids. At age three, little T.K. began to explore the wonders of fire. Luckily, his mother was always close by. At age four, he began exploring the freedom and joys of four-wheeling. It goes without saying that he experienced the downside as well. But no matter how many times T.K. fell, he always got back up with uncompromised determination to successfully achieve whatever goal he set for himself. At age five, T.K. began developing his passion for digging holes of all shapes and sizes. He received his basic training in children's playgrounds and went through generations of shovels as he cultivated his love affair with construction. T.K.'s adventuresome nature had him exploring and developing waterfront property at an early age. He outgrew the restricted and controlled environment of a sandbox. He found it was more fun to work on constructing pleasure holes and sand castles while battling forces of nature such as wind, sand, and water. Every construction worker needs a break, and being an explorer at heart makes one thirsty. That's when he enjoyed his first taste of America, Coca-Cola, and boy did he love it. Eventually, T.K. and his assistant, Olaf, began using heavy equipment to remove excavated sand from their construction site. With experience and persistence, the holes got bigger and deeper. The boys soon discovered the fun of operating bulldozers, but it took them a while to figure out how the machines worked. In September of 1963, Thomas and Olaf welcomed the last and cutest member to the family, their sister, Silke. Kramer attended his first day of school, accompanied by his mother and uncle. In German tradition, he got pretzelized. Every young German student gets a huge pretzel hung around their neck for good luck on their future studies. One of Willie's passions was his 8mm camera, and everywhere the family went, the camera was rolling. The other great passion held by both Willie and Ingeborg was their love of traveling. Because of this, T.K. was very fortunate to get to know Europe at an early age. The family explored the beaches of Holland, Italy, Spain, and France, the mountains of Austria, and the Nordic countries of Denmark and Norway. The Kramers were a close-knit family, 
who spent time together in a wide variety of activities. Here in Holland, on the beach, Willie shows himself to be the driving force behind TK's desire to build. TK and Olaf admired their father's ability of using a bigger shovel. After a tiring morning of constructing sandcastles, the boys took a break swimming with their mother. As Silke grew older, she began experimenting with cosmetics, such as Nivea cream. As seen here, her first product application was a little excessive. During Silke's cosmetic experiments, the boys were showing off their fashionable new Bavarian lederhosen. Pets were another tradition in the Kramer family, and what goes without saying, even the guinea pig got his own Kramer customized home. As TK grew older, his love for the outdoors increased exponentially. Camping in the family backyard became a daily passion. Tired of putting up the tent all the time, he decided to build a more permanent structure. Something like an Indian wigwam made out of native wood instead of Indian buffalo skins. As a TK twist, he added a balcony to be used as a shooting range. While TK's mother and brother enthusiastically fed the pigeons on the San Marco Plaza during a family vacation to Venice, TK realized he didn't like pigeons. Winter gave TK the opportunity to pursue his love affair with skiing. It also gave him the chance to experiment construction with alternative materials, like snow. Climbing and diving came naturally to TK. Here you see 10-year-old TK and his brother strolling down a pier on the beaches of Italy after an exhausting day of diving. On a hot summer day, TK's grandparents visited the family at their home in Bad Soden. Here his sister is chasing Rasputin, the family schnauzer, in the backyard. TK's passion for exploring the world eventually took him to a new frontier, one more challenging than any other, women, but always under the watchful eye of mom. Most winters were spent at the family's apartment in Davos, Switzerland. Here you see Silke sliding off the family's newest status symbol, a Mercedes. While the children were skiing, their mother enjoyed ski bobbing down the slopes. Bright colors were always a family signature. Olaf in bright red, TK sporting yellow, and Silke in green. At age 14, TK and his parents visited Israel and toured the holy sites. After a long day of historic sightseeing, TK decided to give his mother a well-deserved cool-off. Here you see the Kramer family making their final preparations before embarking on a trip through Italy. TK's grandparents were volunteered to house-sit. The first leg of their trip was Lake Garda in northern Italy. Here you see them taking a stroll through their hotel's backyard. Water skiing behind the family's boat was a new and exciting game. TK's attempt was successful. Olaf wasn't so lucky and suffered a rope burn on his leg. The family's next stop was Venice, where they enjoyed a gondola ride. Later in his teens, TK became a champion in tennis and skiing. The combination of TK's family values, adventures, travel experiences, and risk-taking laid a solid foundation for the many personal and professional successes Thomas would enjoy in his life. <laughs> 